Hey guys, back again. Jamie the Divine Seer here. So I was just meditating on these cards and I noticed that I was so drawn to my flicker of my candle and it just got brighter and brighter and brighter. And then I literally saw myself and saw myself with wings. Sounds crazy, but I believe I have them. Um, it's just the thing. We're mostly earth angels here anyways, the ones that do this kind of work. Um, anyway, it was just massive download that just came in. Saw 1111, um, 333. Nines are uh, popular right now too, right now that I'm seeing. But I wanted to go ahead and do a future read on your person and see what they're feeling and what they're thinking. Uh, it's gonna be a short video. I don't wanna be on too long. Huh, talking about your person. <laughs> Hopefully those cards come out, we'll see. So what does your person, whoever I'm touching in with, what does your person feel in this very moment? Are they thinking future? What's going on with them? Um, feeling strong Leos. I don't know why I'm feeling strong Leos. What is your person feeling about you? Four of Pentacles. Could be that they think you're a little closed off, a little guarded. Uh, holding on to a connection with them for sure. How do they feel about you? Let's see here. They're holding on to this connection just as much as you are. They're not wanting to let go. It's my click, 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 click. Yeah, they're just um, all in their feels. I'm using the Light Sears uh, Tarot, by the way. For anyone, um, while I'm doing this, like, share, subscribe. Thank you to all who have done that already. Helps my channel grow for the algorithm. Any personal readings anyone wants with me, please contact me, uh, Jamie the Divine Seer at gmail.com. Are you going to talk? Come on, cards. There we go. Yeah, see, they're holding on to this connection. As much as you feel that they're not, um, the moon came out, hidden emotions, something trying to be brought to the surface, black dog, white dog, and the moon in the middle. I love the moon. Um, duality, yin-yang. They want to come out and say something to you. I feel like with these cards that just were pulled, I feel like there's communication coming about their hidden emotions and hidden feelings. I feel like you've been closed off so long and holding on to this connection as much as they have. And I feel like no matter how much you think that they're gone, no, they're still hiding. They're still hiding their emotions. They're still in their feels. They're using their intuition to make a decision to come and communicate. They want to give you an equal give and take. Okay, the Six of Pentacles. However, they see you as guarded. They want to give you a little bit of an offer. There's news coming in. Okay, some sort of news coming in. I always see creation and innovativeness with that card. Pentacles. They actually, there's a lot of pentacles here. This could also be them wanting to share their gifts with you and share their rewards with you. I feel like if this is a past person, they're definitely like still in the connection. If this is a future person, I feel like this person may have money and that's okay. Okay, so you have temperance. That is the Sagittarius card. The moon is Cancer card. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Two of Swords, Air. Pentacles is Earth. Somebody's got to be patient. So they're being very patient. They want to give you more than what they're giving you right now. Okay? They're being very, very patient. <laughs> they're actually overthinking it. <laughs> they're overthinking this connection a lot. 
they're feeling like they, I feel like they were overthinking this so much. Again, the two of swords communication, they want to come in, they want to communicate with you. They're overthinking everything that they feel. They're making sure that this is what they really truly want. They're going into contemplation. Four of Swords, okay? And in the end, I feel like it's going to be successful with the Six of Wands, okay? They want this to be successful. They haven't let go of this. Wow, okay. Interesting how they all just blew. So you have the Six of Swords. They want to, Six, Six, Harmony, guys, Harmony. So they want to bring something to the forefront. I'm also seeing Four, Four here. Um, four, Four, your angels are in are in this reading too. I will say that they want to definitely make something new. They want to bring you to something more calmer. They don't want you to be all upset. They're 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 really contemplating this really big time. I feel like communication is coming in big time. I'm really strongly feeling it. Um death and rebirth. They see that you have transformed into something different and they're not sure of how you're going to react when they communicate with you, okay, about their true feelings, okay? It might overwhelm you a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys had an ending or a separation or something, but this is normally death equals rebirth. So there's some sort of, yeah, I'm hearing illumination because of this in the background. There's some sort of illumination after all this thinking, and then you have the two of swords on top of the eight of swords right now. And it's all that thought, the thinking about the possible separation that happened or the ending that's a, that happened. You may not have had an ending or a separation. I'm just reading the cards, how they go. And they're being very patient. They're watching you. They're wanting really strongly. I feel like there's this longing feeling. Oh, it's, Spirit is saying it's like detrimental to the health. Four of Swords, they're in their they're in their fields. They're really, really in their fields. They really are thinking about this big time. And I'm happy for whoever I'm picking up for. <laughs> they're trying to manifest this. They're trying to manifest this right here. Okay. Magician, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. They are trying to manifest this happy family, this commitment. They're trying to manifest and bring you back in. And right now I'm getting a slight headache on my left side. So somebody is really, really touching in with this energy. Um, this is everything they've ever wanted. You got Dharma right there, the Tree of Life. It's everything. Everything to this person. Celebration, wedding, commitment, it's everything. It's the 1111 card. What did I say when I started this? 1111, right? It's the twin flame, okay? And then the twin flame journey is eternal, guys. It's eternal. You can't cut the cord from a twin flame. I don't care what anybody says. I have tried cutting cords, and that seems to be the only cord I can't cut. So, yeah. Yeah. This is, this is beautiful. This is what they want. Whether you think so or not, this is what they want, okay? And they're going to, they're going to manifest it because I feel like this person too is very gifted. Oh my gosh, bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this person is also a master manifester. I feel like this person is oh, so in their feels about you that they just want to bring you peace and, and, they just want to bring you peace. They just want to bring you some, I'm hearing stability. That's why the pentacles are here. They want to bring you success and everything. They want to bring you, uh, they love watching you shine. I'm hearing they love watching you shine. They love watching you glow. You're having a major glow up right now. You are their wish fulfillment. Okay. You are completely their wish fulfillment. They are trying so hard. It's like right now, they're saying, oh my God, my wish is granted. Like all I need is just to give this offer and, and bring this back in and everything will be good. Okay. Okay. I'm whoever I'm touching in for, I'm super excited for you because I feel like in the past, 
they didn't have an equal give and take. They were really, really, um, I feel like they were holding on to their stuff. They were holding on to what they really, like, they wouldn't compromise. I feel like they, they held on to, yeah, sick. No, you guys, you got 666. So this is harmony being brought into balance. You got the four of wands, the four of pentacles, the four of swords, four, four, four. This is your angels. This is your angels bringing this back in. I feel like this person had an epiphany. I feel like this person had with the moon card. I feel like this person really, really felt like they needed to do what they had to do. Maybe to take that time out for themselves. In a way, it felt selfish, but in a way, it was a good thing. It was like spiritually guided. It was, it was the angels really you know, having to separate something. And I'm, I'm looking at this card too, how they have the moon and the two dogs are separated. It's like they had to separate something. Also with the two crows, each separated. They're not, they're not together. But I feel like whatever, look at this. I don't know why I'm picking up on this. Three birds, three birds. Okay, three crows. Groups of threes. I said it earlier in another video about the Trinity. Like 333 three, three is the Trinity. That is such an important thing. It's it's you, your person, your divine counterpart, and it's your, it's source. Blessing this. So what I'm seeing here, I didn't see the divine counterparts come out in this. That's okay. It doesn't need to be. However, I feel like this person, whoever this person is, really, really wants to show you that they have been really thinking about this. They've been contemplating. They've been overthinking it. They've been really, really wanting so badly to come in and communicate, hence the Two of Swords. But they've also haven't made a decision on it yet either. But I feel like this is what they want. They're manifesting it. All you have to do is believe and have a little bit of faith. Okay? This offer is coming in. It's a beautiful offer of love. Beautiful offer of love. And it's going to be everything that you wish for. Everything that you ever wanted. Just know that this person has so much love, so much love deep down for you that you don't see it because it's hidden. It's under the surface, right? Most of the stuff is under the surface. Once they come out of their shell, thank you, Spirit, Four of Swords. Once they come out of their shell and they bring this to you, it's all going to be better for you. Whoever I'm touching in with, stay positive. Stay positive about it all. Know that your dreams are coming true. Know that your wishes are coming true. And this person still loves you and is coming in for you. Okay. Um, I felt like this was a past love this, <laughs> this time, this whole time. But this could be somebody new too. There might have had to be an ending in order for this new thing to come in. Just saying. Use it with how you see fit. If it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't. It's not your reading. That's totally fine. It doesn't have to be. Don't make it fit if it's not. Um, again, like, share, subscribe. And uh, if anybody wants a personal reading, description in the description box. Okay. I hope you all have a great night. Bye now.